Good morning, everybody. Huh? Ma? Huh? Oh. <laughs> ha! Good morning. Good. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> there you are. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning! There you are. I looked all the way round and you was finally at this side. Good to see you all. Hi! Good morning! Maybe you could say good morning back. Good morning! Could you say good morning to your friends? Good morning! How about saying good morning to your teacher? Good morning, teacher. Hello, good morning. And welcome to SRT's Learning and Engagement Wake Up, Shake Up. And we are here as well as part of the Singapore Wolf Trap. And I, Teacher Paul, will be your teaching artist for today. So thank you so much for joining us. And I know hopefully you'll be joining us all week as we have different artists coming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So first of all, before we get started, I'm pretty sure, because I come to lots of classrooms and I'm, I actually think there's probably some friends of mine out there and I know in your classroom, you'll have all a little bit of space each, maybe even a cross on the floor where you stand. So before we start today, just wanna make sure that everybody can stand on that cross and they could also sit on that cross if they wanted to, and just to make sure they've got lots of space. And of course, I know you'll all be wearing your masks for today as well. So making sure we keep lots of space so we can move, keeping our masks on, and we're good to go. So. We've already said good morning and we waved our hands. I wonder if we could say good morning using just our fingers. Hmm. Good morning. <laughs> I could come closer as well so you can see. Good morning. Could you try that together? See if you could say good morning with just your finger. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What if you try to say good morning with all your fingers and your thumb? Maybe we could go, good morning. What about two hands together? Good morning. <laughs> hmm. Now, teachers, I know there'll be probably lots of ideas, and you can try saying good morning with different parts of the body. What about using our shoulders? Hmm. Let's try it together. Good morning. <laughs> Put that one back down. Good morning. <laughs> Put that one back down. Maybe both together. Good morning. Good morning. Should we try it together? Good morning. Good morning. Hmm. Maybe I could even rotate my shoulders. I could go, good morning. Maybe even reverse. Good morning. I'm fast. Good morning. <laughs> so we used our hands, we used our fingers, we used our shoulders. Hmm, let me think, another part of my body that I can use. I'm going to use my knee. <laughs> okay, see if you can say good morning by balancing. Whoa, so you're stood on one leg. And can you make your knee shake like this to say good morning? <laughs> good morning, good morning. What if your leg does a little, Woo! good morning. And we could try the other side. Whoa, sometimes I old one ear helps me balance. And my knee can say, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Brilliant. And what if our legs said good morning? We can shake them, we can go, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. And we could try one more. And teachers, you can keep playing this game, I'm sure, all day long. Maybe this time we'll try, what about saying good morning with our eyebrows? Hmm, that could be really difficult. Should we try it together though? Good morning. Good morning. Can you shake your eyebrows? Good morning. <laughs> That's a little bit harder. Let's finish with one easy one. We're going to shake our body and go, good morning. Three two, one, good morning. <sighs> well, 
I'm sure you're already feeling nice and warm, but today's class is all about waking up and shaking up using, I've got two words here for you on my screen, movement and mime. So there are key words today, movement and mime. And we're going to be learning about how we use these actor skills throughout our wake up, shake up. So, just to finish off, we're going to count and make sure we're nice and warm together. So I'll go first and you can follow. We're going to put one arm up high, nice and high in the sky, and it's going to go one, two, three, four. Then we're going to switch one, two, three, four. Then we're going to shake a leg, one, two, three, four. Then the other leg, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's count together. And one, two, three, four. Other arm, one, two, three, four. Shake a leg, one, two, three, four. The other leg, one, two, three, four. Very good. And just to check that we're all listening and we're switched on this morning and we're nice and warm, we're going to do it one more time, but this time really fast. So get ready. It's going to be really quick. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> Did you manage it? Okay. We can shake our bodies. You can turn around. Stretch up high and you can take a seat. Great, everyone have a little relax and take a seat for a moment. So, I would like to show you a little mime, little routine, a little performance for you today. And after you finish watching it, I'd like you to see then if you could join in with me. So for now, everybody you can relax, everyone's crisscross, sitting up nicely, looking ready to watch a performance. Brilliant. Okay, so this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is my mime. Uncle Derek, could I have some music, please? <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Derek. We can stop the music there. <sighs> so, that, everybody, was my little mime. Now, could you guess what was happening? I'm sure if we ask around the classroom, some people will have some ideas. I was looking for things in my pockets, and I was looking, mm, what could I find? And then I found something. I gave it a little wiggle, so it's quite soft. Then I stretched, stretched this thing. And then, I think this is the biggest clue. I put it to my lips, and I blew the balloon up. So this was my balloon that I was stretching, getting ready to blow, and then the balloon went really high, almost, whoa, and almost made me float away, and then I watched it go into the distance. So I'm using all my body and my arms and my facial expressions to tell you a story. 
I think it's time for you guys to stand up on your spots and get ready to do a balloon mime with me. So, we'll put a little bit of music on for you in a second, but let's just quickly go through what you need to do. So, first of all, you spot the balloon in your pocket. Everyone got that? Take your balloon out of your pocket. And then you shake it four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, very good. Pocket, shake. Then we're gonna stretch the balloon. So I think it's a really long, rubbery balloon. We're gonna stretch it four times. So we're gonna go one. And you can stretch it out ever you like. I'm gonna go two, I'm gonna put it under my shoe and stretch it this way. And I'm gonna stretch it really long, three. And then I'm also gonna stretch under my arm. Okay, so you've got your balloon. You take it out of your pocket. One, two, three, four. You then stretch it four times. One, two, three, four. Great, and then the bit we've all been waiting for, you get to blow your balloon up. So you put the balloon to your lips. You blow once, and the balloon expands. So this is now the balloon. And you blow twice, it gets bigger. Everybody doing it along with me? Fantastic. We blow it again, it gets bigger the third time. Wow, this balloon is gigantic. And then we're gonna do one more, of course, number four. And it's now really big. <laughs> so let's try this all together, boys and girls. So, in my pocket, here's my balloon. One, two, three, four. Stretch. One, two, three, four. And then we blow. One, two, three, four. And then this is the final part of our routine for our mime today. We take the balloon from our lips and we float four times. We go one, two, three, four, and pop. We land back down on the ground and we see our balloon waving off, it's flying into the sky. <laughs> so teachers, boys and girls, everybody spreading yourself out, ready to go. Okay, Uncle Derek, could I have a little bit of music, please? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Everyone stood ready? And you can do it with me. So, first, pocket. <gasps> Balloon. Shake it four times. <gasps> Stretch four times. One. Two. Three, four. Now blow the balloon four times. One, two, three, four. Hold it really strong. You've got a big balloon. Take it from your lips and float. One, two, three, and pop. Huh. Bye, balloon. Bye bye. <laughs> Fantastic. Uncle Derek, we can stop the music there. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've just performed your first mime, which is really exciting. And so you can stretch up high, you can turn around, and you can take a seat where you are. Hmm. I think teacher Paul will take a seat too. Ah, <sighs> there we go. So, I think it's about time. We should be feeling nice and warm, our body's nice and stretched, and our imagination's starting to work. Maybe we should tell a story. Hmm. Now, normally when I tell a story, I have my magic box. Hmm. Has anybody seen my magic box? Hmm. Uncle Derek, have you seen my magic box? Rebecca, have you seen my magic box? 
Mm -hmm. Maybe my magic box is under the table. <sighs> no. Now my magic box is blue and it's full of lots of different colours. Hmm. Maybe it's under my storytelling hat. No. <sighs> Maybe it's under my storytelling tambourine. <sighs> Can anybody see my magic box? Huh? Oh, it was there all along. <gasps> I think it's magic, you see. It just disappears and appears all the time. <gasps> this is my magic box, everybody. And it says right on the front there, magic box. <gasps> And it's very pretty with lots of different colours. This is where all my stories come from. And if I could shake my magic box, I can hear something in there. And my magic box has lots of different exciting things about it. It has four sides. One, can you count with me? Two, three, four. Wow, four. Got two long sides and two short sides. My box has a bottom as well underneath, and it also has a top. Hmm. The top of my box is exciting because it opens up. <gasps> you wanna have a look inside? Whoa. Let's see what story it will tell today. <gasps> Can you hear what I have in my tub? This, boys and girls, is my magic bean. Now, hmm, where do my magic beans take me? What kind of story might have magic beans? Do you know what kind of story might have a magic bean? Hmm, I know a story. Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, fantastic. So, before we can do anything else, we need to go to our magical storyland where we can all tell stories together. And we can tell the story of Jack and the Beanstalk using our new and exciting mime and movement skills, okay? So, first and foremost, we need to travel to Storyland. And you get to Storyland in a very interesting way. You get inside your story bubble. Now, I've got a story bubble here, but I'm going to help you make your story bubble. So, everybody stretching up to your feet. Woo! And standing nice and ready. Feet ready? Ready, okay. Goes like this. One big circle. Whoosh. Two times, three times, four times, the magic number. Then you turn to the side and you do it again. Big circle, one, two, three, four. There it is, one, two. I'm going to do the other side as well. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. Fantastic. Now, just check at the sides, you should now feel your story bubble. And if you've done it right, your story bubble will start to rise off the floor. Whoa. And you'll move to the left. And you'll move to the right. Whoa. And you'll do a little spin on the spot. And you'll get higher and higher. <gasps> wow. And if you look down, whoa, everyone looks like little ants. They're really small. Hello. And we keep flying, and wow, we move through the clouds. And then I see, there it is. I see a farm, hmm, and a cow. And I see a house, and a market. Boys and girls, we have arrived at Storyland. Fantastic. Great. So, teachers, now we're in Storyland, you can do two things here. You can have everybody work together in one big group, standing on the spot. Or you can quickly just get four groups. So you could have group one, group two, group three, and group four. 
And we're going to tell the story of Jack and the Beanstalk in four different parts. Okay, so if you've got groups of four, wonderful. We can have group one first, then group two, group three, and group four. And this means people get to watch each other, which is part of the fun. Or we can do it all together. It's your choice. Okay, so in our storyland, first and foremost, we need some story music. Uncle Derek, let's have a little bit of music. Here we go. So once upon a time <clears throat> in Storyland, we met Jack and his mother. And Jack's mother sent Jack to the market. So the first group, let me show you how to be mother. You're going to send Jack to the market and go, market, 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 four times. Ready? Market, 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 market. Okay, so Jack has been sent to the market to sell the cow. And so we need the cow to come in and our next mime is gonna go moo, 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 four times. So we've got mum, market, 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 market. We've got our cow, moo, 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 moo. Brilliant. And then we go to the market. <gasps> wow, we can see lots of different people. People eating, people selling fruit and vegetables. <gasps> there's lots of animals and there's lots of chatter. So the next part for group one goes chatter, 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 four times. Shall we try that? Chatter, 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 chatter. <gasps> Maybe we can do two hands. Chatter, 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 chatter. <laughs> So group one, you can tell the first part of our story using our mime and our voices. Are you ready? Here comes mum. Market, 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 market. Here comes the cow. Moo, 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 moo. And here comes the busy market. Chatter, 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 chatter. Fantastic, group one, fantastic, round of applause. Group two's part two of our story. This time we get the beans from selling the cow. <gasps> Magic beans. And we throw the beans into the garden <gasps> and we see them start to grow into a beanstalk. So group two, you throw your beans and we go grow, 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 grow. Okay, throw and Grow, 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 grow. And of course, Jack looks up this giant beanstalk and he wants to climb it. Off he goes, climb, 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 climb. He gets to the top. Let's try it one more time from the beginning. Beans, grow, 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 grow. Climb, 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 climb. Fantastic. Then when we get to the top, we're gonna let group three take over. So let's just recap so everybody knows what they're doing. We've got group one, market, 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 market. Yes, we've got the cow, moo, 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 moo. We got chatter, 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 chatter. And that's group one. Then group two, throws the magic beans. Grow, 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 grow. Climb, 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 climb. Brilliant. And then I'm gonna see group three. Okay, get ready, group three. You get to the top of the beanstalk and you see an amazing palace that belongs to the giant. And you go, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Four times. Ready? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Then you tiptoe to the palace. <gasps> tip toe, tip toe, tip toe, tip toe. Brilliant. So we've got our wows for time. Wow, wow, wow. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Then we open the door to the creaky palace. We open and it goes eek, eek. Eek, eek, eek. And this is our big door opening. Eek, 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 eek. And then group four, it's your final part. 
Group four ready? Well done to group three. Fantastic work. Now group four, you spot the golden egg. Whoa. And you've never seen anything so shiny and wonderful. And you grab the egg. We're gonna do that four times, ready? Grab, 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 grab. <laughs> and then you're gonna run because, oh no, you've woken up the giant. Oh, okay, and you're gonna go, stomp, 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 stomp. Okay, so let's just quickly check. You've got your egg, grab, 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 grab. Oh no, the giant. Stomp, 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 stomp. And then you're gonna go down the, Beanstalk, really fast, ready? Down, 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 down. Four times, ready? Down, 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 down. Well done, so we're at the bottom of the beanstalk and I wonder what we'll do next, but let's quickly just recap that moment. So, we're in the palace, we see the golden egg and we grab, 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 grab. We stomp, 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 stomp. And then we go down, 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 down. Very good, and when we get to the bottom, everybody together, all four groups, we're going to chop, 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 chop the beanstalk, okay? Let's try it all together, and chop, 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 and whoa! The beanstalk comes falling down. Oh, fantastic, everybody, take a bow. Very good, we'll give you a round of applause. Very nice, very good. Okay, Uncle Derek, you can pause our story music for a moment. Boys and girls, you've just gone through a really fast story using lots of mime, and don't worry, the teacher can play this back later and you can do it again and again. And guess what? you can come up with your own mimes, that's absolutely fine. So you can change the actions and change the different parts of the story. That's what's exciting about using our bodies to tell our stories together. So with that, we need to get back to the classroom because we're still here in the storyline. So everybody, if you remember, we've got to quickly draw our story bubble. Four times. Other side. And whoa, whoa, we should be starting to float down to the left, whoa, to the right. We're getting lower to the ground. Oh, I can see things again. Oh, there's my school. Oh, there's my school. Hello. I can see all the other children. And back into the classroom. Poof. And we are back in the classroom, boys and girls. Well, I could keep telling stories all day, but the time is nearly up for today. I hope you've had lots of fun doing this, but first, let's just all take a couple of moments to cool down together. So everybody, you can stretch up, you can do a little turn, and you can take a seat on the floor, crisscross, ready to cool down together. I have one more thing in my magic box to share with you, which will help us cool down today. See if I can bring this so you can see what it is. Wow. I managed to get a feather from the golden goose when I was up at the giant's palace. I'm gonna use this just now, okay? And sitting down, crisscross, I'd like everybody to take an imaginary feather and hold it in front of you. Have you got your feather? Great. I want you to take a deep breath in and blow your feather. We're going to do this just a couple more times. Deep breath in and blow your feather. Brilliant. Two more times. See if you can blow your feather this time really softly. And one more, magic number, number four. Deep breath in and blow your feather. Fantastic. Well, boys and girls, thank you very much for joining us today. 
It's been a pleasure and I hope you've had lots of fun. So teachers, if you took any pictures, you want to share them with us, you've got our email address. We'd love to know how much you've enjoyed the Wake Up Shake Up. And tomorrow at 9.15, we'll be live again. And this time it won't be me playing, but it will be my good friend Dwayne Tan who will be working with you at 9.15. And remember, if you've enjoyed today, please get in touch with us here at SRT because we'd love to come into your classroom and do more and more work with you as the years go by. So with that, I will say a final round of applause for our amazing movement and mime actors today. Everybody can take a bow. Thank you, thank you, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you all in your classroom, hopefully very soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.